Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Total Commander FTP client onto Windows 10. So let's open up our web browser and we'll go to this website here. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description and we're going to download Total Commander 9.22 final version. So we'll click here. When we get to here we're going to click on download page here and then we're going to download 32-bit or 64-bit version. If you're, if you're not sure which version you need to download, go to your start menu, click on the search here and type in system and you look at the system information and underneath the uh, system type you've got x64 so if it says 64 then you want the 64-bit version and if it says 86 then you want the 32-bit version so that's how you tell the difference. So I want 64 so I'm going to click here I'll drag this to the side we'll open up this folder and we'll just drag and drop this into here and we'll launch the software we'll click yes here and then we'll follow the on-screen instructions we'll click next if we just go back you can select a different language I'm going to use English uh, do you want to install other languages and you can switch between them no not really English is good enough we'll click next uh, you can change your own location for the settings okay we don't really want to do that we'll leave it as a default settings and then uh, create Windows start menu on the desktop we don't want that that's the user that's good and we'll click OK we can close this and close this then if we go to our start menu we should have total commander in here here's total commander so we can right click this and pin it to the taskbar here so I've got it on my little taskbar down here now and I'll click on it and I'll say yes and then it normally asks you for this uh, registration thing but oh, you just pick a number so it's one of these three numbers right so it says number two click number two and then you're into the software you can accept the default settings these are pretty good and then uh, local library this is all okay we just click okay so then you on your on one side you're going to have your uh, local machine and then the other side you're going to have your FTP client so whichever um, server you're going to be connecting to right so here you can click on FTP then you can click on new connection here put in your session put in the host name the username the password and if whether it's SSL or TSL running tick that off and then click OK and then you can simply drag and drop from your desktop or your computer to the server and upload your files so that's how you go about installing Total Commander it's quite a basic piece of software actually it's actually quite robust um, it's not the most beautiful application but for raw functionality if that's what you want and just a simple interface uh, I've been using it for years and it works very well so that's the end of this tutorial that's how you go about installing Total Commander onto Windows 10 I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial